Hey everyone, it's uh, Nicola from 3DI CNC. So today I have my new print head. It's almost uh, finished. As we can see, as always, it's water cooled. So this is like a heat sink for the hot end. That's the front uh, top side, which is going to be mounted on the MGN9 linear rail. <coughs> That's the back side. We have some extra mounting uh, holes which are threaded uh, for M3 nuts. Uh, I still have the bottom head uh, screws as I didn't receive my new screws, the flat uh, flat head screws. So I'm waiting on that. Uh, as we can see, this is the this is the part where the hot end will go in. So just it's a very nice and tight fit to get the heat dissipation as best as possible. A grub screw here for tightening that up. Uh, at the moment I just have the titanium heat break. Uh, I'm planning to get the, the B metal. Uh, that's going to be better. I hope so. Uh, the titanium one it's great because uh, it's not transferring the heat from the hot end to the heat sink that much uh, but also it's stronger the only problem with the B metal it knows to be um, the bottom part of, of uh, and then the, the throat uh, uh, in the middle knows to spin sometimes so we'll see I'll try to get some better quality uh, as we can see this is the openings for the for the belt, belts and that's it for a moment like uh, I'm planning to to attach, I'll see. Uh, at the moment, I'm using proximity sensors, uh, but I'm planning to switch on the clicky to try how is that going to work. At the moment, this is all made from four pieces, uh, just because uh, of the front. But I'm currently designing the version where I might gonna do this from one piece, and uh, so far this is very sturdy. Uh, it's not flexing at all because it's uh, very small but we'll see i'm gonna try uh, the different version as well so far i'm uh, very happy how this looks and uh, we'll see it i hope tomorrow i'll get chance to mount it on the printer and have a test run until then see you